All right, so guys, we are back. Welcome back to another episode of Stray. Possibly the cutest game ever created, just saying. But um, here we are entering episode two. And on the last episode, we officially found the four notebooks or the four outsider notebooks, which of course the outsiders were supposed to be the humans, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. And now we're supposed to go back to Momo so we can fix the... Uh, the receiver, I think it was. I, I really hope you guys have been enjoying this game. I know we're only like one episode in officially, but uh, <laughs> this game is super chill. It really, really is. And I know it's a lot of people are playing it for the PS5. I'm playing it on the on the PC just because I wanted to, to get the full capacity of the game, if you will. There's actually no motion blur. Or you don't need to have the motion blur here. I don't know if you could do that on the uh, PS5 version, but... Uh, I kind of like it this way. Anyways, back to Momo's, which is all the way up there. I got to see if I can remember how to get back up there. Now, when I played this game last night, it was extremely late. And I mean, like, really, really late. So, I don't know if I'm going to remember half the things I found out. <laughs> Just throwing that out there. Okay, so this is the building. Oh, it's right here. Perfect. He looks so sad. Wait, what is this? Oh, I thought I was able to interact with the TV. Hey, little cats. Are you still looking for those useless notebooks? Uh, actually, no. I, I've i got the notebooks, pal. Matter of fact, hold on. I got one out of four. Show item. Oh, you found Clementine's notes. She was really brave, you know. The most fearless person I ever met. Okay. And then here we've got uh, Zabotar's notebook. I never quite understood what he was talking about most of the time, but he was very wise. That therefore means that you are not very wise, sir. <laughs> but you actually found all my friends' notebooks. Uh, yeah, that is right. Uh, it is I, the extra cool cat. Oh, what's what's that note? The transceiver can be repaired. This is incredible. That means we should be able to communicate outside of the slums. Clementine, Zabatar, Doc, I'm sorry I doubted our cause. I promise you, I will find a way to reach the surface. Thank you. We might be able to find you a way up. Now, let's fix this piece of junk transceiver. Oh, the transceiver is a TV? You kidding me? <laughs> Voila! It works! Come with me. Oh, sure. It's not like I've got anything better to do than follow a weird robot oh hold on hold on you're gonna have to wait a damn second here i've got some toys <laughs> this is awesome up there see that building high above the others if you install the transceiver at the very top of the tower we should be able to communicate with the whole city my friends might still be out there if there is a way out they'll know it you're the only one small and quick enough to evade the Zerks. We need you, little outsider. Bring us to the sky. So now I am the hope of the town. Incredible. Look how beautiful this cat is, huh? Okay, cool. So that building over there? Is that what he said? Oh, damn. He just, he just shut me out. Damn it, Momo. I hope it's not pronounced Mumu, and I've been saying Momo this whole entire time. That would... That would be embarrassing. When I finish this game, I'm definitely going to play it with Ryan and Ruby. I think they're going to really enjoy this game. Rooftops. Oh. Besides, I need Ryan to stop playing Minecraft. <laughs> Alright, let's get it. Alright, let's get it in. Here we go. Oh, oh, meow. 
to attract enemies. Wait, what? Why would I want to attract them? Oh, that's why. Oh. <laughs> Suckers. You just got played. Uh, okay, up here. Man, this is so freaking cool. Okay, so they're over there. So I'll meow this way. Oh, there's one stuck on the garbage. Ah, I see what we're doing here. Dude, the music right now is a vibe. Like, the mood is so set. I never want to leave. Okay, hold on. I don't want to fall here and die. That'll, that'll, that'll really suck. Can I go up there? Oh, of course I can. I, I, I keep underestimating the uh, jumping abilities of this cat. Truly, truly do. Alright, what is this? The city is full of neon and it wasn't always like this. There used to be strict energy camps, especially in the slums. Where people couldn't handle the constant darkness. One day someone lit up rainbow lamps, neon signs all over their houses. That person was taken away and never seen again. But people saw hope, and not long after, everyone started putting lots of lights in their homes. There was nothing the oppressors could do. It was a way for people to see color again, like on the outside. I think it helped. I think so too, bud. I think so too. So, for those of you that are wondering, there are, um, there's 12 chapters in total. And I think we're in starting chapter 5 right now. Oh, okay. That works. Is it up here? Maybe I go there again? Wow, dude, I love that. I love that. Freaking love that. I had to use my brain to, to get across. That was freaking awesome. Whee! Wait, that's not cool. I fell off. What's going on? Alright, you, st you stay put. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna stop. It's very early in the morning. And I definitely need to stop. Like, really. Okay, I think that's where we're supposed to go. The tower, the building's over there. Um... That's all full of zerks. That, that's kind of disgusting. How am I going to fight that off? Okay, hold on. Oh, I see a way. Oh, no. I thought I did. Oh, shit. Oh, no. They're coming. They're coming. They're coming. Oh, my God. Oh. Hack the... Whoa, 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 whoa. Hack the door. Whoa. What a bunch of losers. All right, hold on. What a bunch of dorks. <laughs> well, unfortunately, you guys are kind of creepy, but you're as dumb as a rock. I'll tell you. I, on the other hand, am a pretty phenomenal cat, and I will not be dis- uh, uh, never mind. I was gonna say I will not be killed, but I kinda got tongue twisted there, and I- I don't wanna sound like an idiot, so let's- let's keep on moving. See, this is by far my favorite part so far. I mean, we're, we're actually- there's a decent amount of thinking going on. Look at this, man. I mean, this is quite freaking incredible. What a beautiful game. Are those all Zerks? Or are those like eggs or something? Wait. Yo, those are eggs, huh? Yeah, I don't even want to get near that chest, just in case. Knock that down. Voila! 
And now we're going to go in through the vents. Oh, this is bad. This is pretty bad. Bro, this is bad here. Okay, we can probably go through through the left here. Like this. Um, and there they are again. So I've got to find a way. Oof. Do they see me? Oh, God. They do see me. <laughs> Shit. Bro, they're crazy. <laughs> All right. Let me. Oh, they can climb on that. That's not good. No, but they can't climb here. Suckers. Nice. I do appreciate the fact that, yeah, they're kind of like a threat, but they're not excessively annoying. You know what I mean? Like, it's not like I'm dying over and over again, and it just kind of kills the vibe. The vibe of this game is just a relaxed experience that even a toddler can play it. I, I would assume that would be what they were trying to go for. Oh, not, not a toddler. I'm pretty sure a toddler cannot solve these puzzles here. Okay, cool. So now I should be able to hack. Hack that. Okay, where does this go? Wait, what? say maybe here then I climb up to ah okay perfect well, that works we've got some more zerks over there let's see oh god they're coming Meow. <laughs> guys are a bunch of dorks all right we're still on track man this cat's got hops bro look at this it's like five times his, his size just jumps right on up. It's pretty crazy. Imagine if, if, if they worked out their legs. Pretty sensational. I'm just talking gibberish. I'm sorry. I don't know what I'm saying, man. Alright, so here I've got to distract them. This is horse crap. Man, these guys are vicious. What in the world is wrong with them? You animals! Wow, dude. What the hell? <laughs> Those things are crazy. This is a job for the perfect stray cat. I don't even think we have a name. We haven't even given this guy a name. Can we give him a name? Somebody give me a name in the comments. Like we need to give this cat a name. Um. If my phone was ringing and I didn't hear it. I'm sorry. Okay, hold on. We've got... Is that where we put the transceiver? We 
You see that? It's like we're inside some sort of like massive barrier. It reminds me of like Final Fantasy VII. That's pretty incredible. That is pretty incredible. I do like the idea of like humans being like, you know, the past uh, species that thrived and they've all kind of died. I mean, obviously, hopefully that doesn't happen soon, but it's good for story. Look, the view. It's beautiful from here. What do you know about beautiful B12? You're a robot. I remember now the city. It was meant to be a shelter. Those look like stars, but they are only lights marking their uh, hermetic roof sealing off the city. Really? Humankind built a shell to protect themselves from the outside, but came at a cost. Nobody can go out. The outside was a disaster, completely barren, unlivable, and dangerous. Yo, that's crazy. But if you come from there, it must mean it's safe again. My promise wasn't just to go to the outside. It was to open the city. I still don't understand why some memories are coming back and others aren't. But I'm um, certain now this is my purpose. I have to open up the city. Come on, let's go back and find Momo. Now that we've connected the transmitter. Yeah, I don't know what they were calling it. The transceiver. It was, <laughs> we should be able to get help. All right. Sweet, let's go. <laughs> Bro, how cute is this crap? <laughs> it's like they magically placed those buckets there for a cat to just go from point A to point B. Slums part two. Momo, well, you're here, right? You're not like dead or anything. Hope not. Wait, where is he? What is this? The city has a cylindr uh, cylindrical, cylindrical shape of about 450 meters in diameter. There is a level above ours. The city seems to have a ceiling. If I believe. My books, a big blue sky is hidden behind. Earth is the third planet from the sun and fifth largest in the solar system by mass and diameter. To date, it is the only celestial object known to forest life. According to radiometric dating, the Earth is 4.54 billion years old. It has a single natural satellite, the moon, which formed soon after. The gravitational interaction with the moon creates the tide, stabilizes the Earth's axis of rotation, and gradually reduces its rotation speed. How all that works, I don't know, man. Life is weird, but fascinating. Look, a note. Little outsider, if you're reading this, that means you're still alive. Excellent. It, I took some equipment to the bar to take advantage of their antenna. Come meet me there. I've locked the window, but the code to open it is quite simple. It is very, very simple. Be careful. It is case sensitive. See you at the bar. That must be the code for the window near the entrance. Let's. Man, I don't know how to read that. This guy's got a pretty cool pad, huh? Oh, back home too. 
Is that one of the games from the creators? It was made right after I was created. I cannot remember it well. The scientists and I spent a lot of time playing it. It was fun. I miss him. Why can I remember his name? Okay, this is getting pretty interesting. Alright, so the window is right here. Here's the code. Here's the lock for the window. The code was... Hmm, it was an H, I think. Oh, God. Oops, my bad. Okay, let's try that again. And then it was uh, O or was it... Uh, it was case sensitive. Success! It worked! Momo is at the bar waiting for us. Alright. Let's... Get out of here. Where, where the hell is the bar again, man? I don't remember where the bar is. I know it was down below, but... Oh, there he is. Well, that was easy. Just kind of took me there. Momo, what's up, dude? You gonna save the world or what? Hey, little furball. Come here. I managed to get a signal. What up, boys? Y'all chilling? Oh, cool. That's so cool, man. <laughs> Let me see if I can get this thing working. That is a really old TV. Hello, can anyone hear me? Hello, yes, we can hear you. We're from the slums. We're looking for a way out and... Wait, is that Zabaltaz, uh, Zab Zabaltazar? Momo? I cannot believe it. I'm so happy to hear your voice. That works. <laughs> Where are you? Are the others okay? Yes, we are safe. We found a way up. Hello, do you still hear uh, do you still hear me? You have to go through the sewers to reach us. You're very dangerous. Zerks every <laughs> Sewers? How? Hello? Damn it! We've lost the signal. I cannot believe it. The bots are I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing that name. Is alive. He and the other outsiders managed to go up through the sewers. The sewers are the most dangerous place in the slums. But they made it. There must be a way. You'll never get past the swords. It's infested with zerks. They'll make a quick meal out of you. Especially you, little one. Many try and do luck in the past, it doesn't end well. Anyway, I warned you, your business is none of my business. Exactly, so stay out of it, punk. I'll kick your ass. This little cat, man, this is the cutest shit ever. Um, Jacob wants to say something. His father, Doc, used to be a great scientist. He was working on some new weapon to fight the Zerks. A few years ago, he went off to test the device and never came back. Seamus has never been the same since. Wait, we're about to get a weapon? No shit, don't tell me this. Don't listen to Seamus. He just scared like uh he's just scared like I was. If Doc built a weapon, that's our ticket to join the outsiders. In his notebook, Doc mentioned a secret lab a few times. This must be where he was working on it. There might be a clue in Seamus. Uh Seamus' apartment. Come on, follow me. Alright, this is getting really, really uh interesting. If we actually get a weapon, that's gonna be pretty cool. Oh, hold on, what is this? Jacob, employ. Oh, we saw that already. This guy's wardrobe is pretty damn epic. Let's see where he's taking us. Is 
the city in this game is so beautiful, dude. Like, wow. Announcement. I'm looking for any sheet music you'll find. Bring it to me. I live near the elevator. I think we read that last time as well. Come on, Seamus. Open up the door, damn it. You know your father would have wanted us to help. Or wanted to help us. Sorry. Completely different meanings. <laughs> well, that was to be expected. This situation is pretty tough. I'm Seamus. He doesn't want to hear about the outsiders anymore. He won't help me. But you. I think I have an idea. Oh. Here. Take Doc's notebook and show it to Seamus. It contains a lot of information that will hopefully act as an... I couldn't read the last word. Find the secret lab, little outsider. I'm gonna go back to the bar. Try and establish communication with the others. Okay. Look at this, bro. Like, look, look, look at this. Look how beautiful this cat is. Hold on. Like, this is not even. This is not even fair. How cute this cat is. Look at this cat. Why is this cat so damn cute? Alright, thank you. Okay. Uh. Seamus. What are you doing here? I told you. Uh, getting through the sewers is a suicide mission. Leave me be. Damn it. Alright, let me show him docks. What's this? Wait. Is this my papa's? Oh, wow. I never knew. There's a secret room here? In our flat? But where? Uh, that's a job for Mr. Pussycat. All right. Well, I am a pussy. Literally. I'm a cat. I, kind of. Maybe not literally. Maybe. Okay, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna shut up. My investigator skills are uh, being put to the task right now. Or put to the test. Whatever. Ooh. Code. Time will tell. Okay, so we gotta look for a clock of sorts. <sighs> huh. It's gotta be here. There's a clock. The, the clock, dude. Time will tell. Is that some kind of clue? Uh, clearly, it's right over here. Over here, dude. Oh, whoa. Oh, I don't, I don't. Oh, the time will tell. Two. I don't know what that is. 16. I've never seen a clock with 16. Two, five, one, one. Let me see. Awesome. Hell yeah, let's go. That actually worked, dude. That's epic. So now the Zerks are not under control. They eat metal. seen this room. I cannot believe he managed to hide it from me all this time. These blueprints, they must be for the Zerk weapon. Papa was always so secretive with his work. He told me the weapon was working in theory, but it uh, needed a real life test. He went outside the slums and he never came back. Oh, those are the Zerks right there. Observations. Cute sound, but never friendly. Old bacteria of human time. Oh, that's what they are. Eat all kinds of materials. Total vision in the dark. React to the intense lights. Oh, so we're gonna kill them with lights, possibly. Now 
nothing there. That's that one. There it is. There it is. Hey, hey, over here. Yes, I actually did find something. Wait, I remember that. That's this tracker. I've always used that tracker to keep an eye on every uh, on where I was. Maybe we can reverse it to find where he went. I can't believe my papa might still be alive. I've missed him so much. You need a weapon for the Zerks, right? My papa definitely took one with him. We just need to repair the tracker so we can find him. Someone in the slums should be able to help. Come with me. I'll open up the door for you. So we need to repair the tracker. So we need to find somebody to repair this tracker. What a cool game, dude. Holy smokes. Ooh. All right, should I talk to him? Who can fix the track? Maybe this guy? Hey, dude. Yo. Uh, you look kind of interesting. Can you help? No? God, I hate your guts. He's not gonna help me. Let me follow this guy. Maybe I ought to follow him. Maybe he takes us somewhere. Come on, man. Nobody here cares. Literally, nobody cares. You guys are unbelievable. So if today is yesterday's, tomorrow, tomorrow will be yesterday's today, right? Time is weird. We don't age like our soft one, uh, soft one ancestors. We are trapped here forever. That's kind of true. Okay, hold on. I don't know. I have no idea who we're gonna find to help us with this crap. Maybe she can. B12 can tell us where. Okay, we just need to keep talking to people, right? We were just around here, no? Oh, hi. Those guys better not drop a paint bucket again, or else Cosmo will be ticked off. Um, broken tracker. What's this thing? A tracker? I don't know anything about the high tech stuff. Try the bar. Okay, so we are gonna go to the bar. Where is the bar again? I don't really remember. <laughs> this is the bar? I think this was the bar. Grandma made me this scarf. Isn't it wonderful? She knits so well. Yes, great. But uh, what about this tracker? The track is in bad shape. Bartender might be able to help you. Okay, perfect. So definitely speak to the bartender. You're new around here. What can I do for you? You can tell me about this tracker, sir. What a beautiful object and rare too. I know a guy who fixes stuff like this. He's very talented. Just a little, well, you'll see. His name's Elliot. His office is just left of here near grandma's shop. There are signs all over his door. I think I've seen Elliot. I think we actually spoke to him. great stuff that falls into our trash so many treasures we should go visit the, the barter man barter man there's something for everyone over there just left elliot was elliot where was elliot dude Three energy cans. 
Hmm. I only got two, so I'm gonna have to skip on that. Is this? No. Let's keep going. Where is Elliot? Just left of here. Oh, I've actually got quite a couple of uh, music sheets. Tomorrow's. Sounds cool. Here, watch that. code for that okay let's go find elliot we're horsing around here appreciate the tunes my boy really do but i'm trying to look for a guy named elliot apparently he's uh of great importance so maybe left of here was this way where the hell is he Elliot. Bro, I swear I've seen him. Could it be this guy? Graham. Okay, this is Grandma. So, I know... I know it was around Grandma's house. Right, hold on. You are not Elliot. That's Rosie. Okay, so that's Grandma's. Hmm. Hold on. Elliot programming. Knock on the door and wait for us to open. Ah, that's what it was, dude. That's Nestor. Elliot was up top, right? There we go. Yes, can I help you? Oh, wow. That's a great tracker. I recognize this model. It's a Tohima BR2000. You can track anyone with this little gadget. May I? I know how to repair it, but when I'm trembling like this, I cannot use my keyboard. I do not know if I'm sick or something, but I definitely don't feel right. I cannot work when I'm shivering like this. I need a blanket to be able to fix your... What? You kidding me? Where do I find the... Okay, so where am I going to find this man a blanket? This is bullshit. I've got an idea. Bro, super spirit detergent. I don't have a super spirit detergent. Bro. All right, hold on. Please don't bother her. She's clumsy. Obviously, she's clumsy. That's exactly what I need to do. Careful, I need to focus. I don't want to drop another bucket. That's exactly where we have to go. <clears throat> oh, down there. Ooh. Oh, I'm sorry. There we go. This is where we're going to find the detergent. Okay, now 
where do I find the detergent here? Hmm. Ah. Nice. Sweet baby Jesus. Let me meet meet this robot. I'm cleaning the porch. The porch. The porch. <laughs> my shop again stop playing over my shop you clumsy rascal man you are pissed i like how you can see the palm prints after you step on like liquids and stuff pretty cool all right so we should be able to go here now and buy the cable the electric cable sweet we got the cable all right, so now we're gonna go over to grandma and she should probably knit something for um for our buddy old pal over here she should be over here we got to work right away so now that blanket or whatever that is we'll give it to elliot Okay, the new item. There you go, little one. It'll suit you well. Oh, that's not for me, Grandma. Excuse me. Thank you, Nestor. Appreciate it. All right, so now we'll go up here and give this guy the blanket. There you go. Let me try it on. Wow. <laughs> Look, no tremors. I'm able to work again. Thanks. Now I can definitely fix your tracker. Let me take a look. Just got to give it an update and one more thing. Voila. Gained a new item. There you go, little one. Good luck. Finding whoever you're looking for. Uh, can I get my blanket back? I'm, I would really like that. Thanks again for the poncho. Come back anytime. By the way, do I look pale to you? Um, you're you're a white robot literally your body is white plastic or metal so yes now what do i do okay let me see what this uh, b12 says now that we fix the tracker let's find Seamus and track down his papa no time to lose all right, Seamus was... Man, there's so many doors here. I forgot what he was. Uh, where was Seamus? Um, man, I... Where the hell was he? All right, hold on. Was it here? No. I right, go this way. We've got this guy cleaning up the floor. Was it here? Oh, it was here. Jesus Christ. Did you managed to fix the tracker. You did it. Give it here. Got a ping. It's Papa really alive? I cannot believe it. Let's follow the tracker. Maybe we'll find where my Papa went. Oh snap, we're about to We're about to really do this thing. Alright. by that door over there remember there was like a really mysterious door and that's what you used to go outside of these walls if you will i wouldn't be surprised yeah that's what it is i freaking knew it wow Oh, <laughs> 
This must be it. He really left the slums. It's dangerous out there, but uh, I must be sure. I need to know. Let's do this. Is he coming with us? I don't think he's coming with us, is he? And if he does, he's probably gonna die. Oh, he is. Oh, look at this. Outside the walls, boys. Look at that disgusting goo there. Look at that. What is that? Zerk's, uh, Zerk eggs. They will eat us. I can't do this. I'm not as fast as you. The Zerks will get more for sure. Get me for sure. Here, take this badge. My papa will recognize it. You will know that you're a friend. Hmm. The outsider badge. I'll open up the door for you. Oh my god. Bro, this is crazy. Okay, well, thanks for leaving me out here by myself. Not creepy at all. Outside the walls, guys. Outside the freaking walls. What is this? Remember. Look at how huge this wall is. I remember it was a symbol of the division between those in the slums and the midtown. That and the fact that they kept throwing their garbage down here. What a horrible thing to do. Maybe that's why they failed. Outside the walls. A dead end. Well, this is not, this is not good. Okay. Run, you little kitty cat. Whoa. Oh my gosh. These guys are relentless. Yo, what the hell? Alright, we're out, I think. Kind of, sort of. If we fall in that goo, we're probably dead. But it's okay, I've got nine lives. We should be just fine. Jump here again. Excellent. Nice. What in the world? What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. That was pretty epic. Not gonna lie. Are you okay? That was a huge fall. Not bigger than the one I had in the beginning of the game. Trust me. Doc. Doc should be nearby. Well, uh, should be nearby. We must be close. Okay, I can't read apparently. Oh god, I'm I'm limping again. 
Oh god. God, this game is so cute. Alright, what do we have here? We good? <clears throat> Must be hearing. Ah, look at this. <gasps> Whoa, bro. What? What is that? That doesn't even make sense. Oh, it's a basketball. Ever seen a cat play with a basketball? Cats love basketballs. I, I don't. Select an item to use. I don't have an item to use right now. An electric generator, but it seems to require some other part to function. Yes, clearly. We'll follow the cable, I guess. been experimenting on these look at these zerks <laughs> you guys are trash <laughs> all right what do we have here uh should i go downstairs is that doc that's doc whoa wait you're not a zerk who are you that's my badge you're wearing how did you find it did my son send you Oh, Seamus, you clever boy. I've uh, been alone here for ages. I came here to test my defluxer, but it didn't go as planned. Clearly. Wish I could go back home. I miss my son dearly. You can have a look around the house if you want, but I have no idea how to escape this place. And you're a doctor? Well, that's embarrassing. God, this game is so fucking cute. Outsiders. I've seen humans wear costumes like this. They were small and running around making lots of noises. Oh yes, I remember now. They were children. The streets felt much more alive with them. Even when the difficulty, with the difficulty they brought, the adults seem to love them very much. Doc says he misses Seamus. Is that the same thing? That's very true. Children are a pain in the ass, but man, we love them. That is very true. Very fucking true. I wonder what happens if you scratch long enough. I'm a little lost. Oh, wow. Why wasn't I able to interact with that earlier? So I need uh, 1.21 gigawatts to work. The only thing around here with that kind of use is a generator outside the house. The problem is that it won't start. I think uh, a fuse blew. And with all the use zerks are, uh, and with all the zerks around, it's too dangerous for me to go outside and fix it. I'm not fast enough, but you might just be. If you can reach the generator and replace the fuse, I should be able to get the fluxer recharged. Come on, follow me. I'll show you what to do. Sweet! Thanks, Doc! Alright, so we're gonna go fix the generator outside. Here, take the fuse. It's brand new. 
Turning on the generator will be loud, so expect some zerks. Once you fix the generator, it should be able to charge and kickstart the deflector. You just now need to follow this cable, change the fuse, and then meet me back here. Best of luck. You got it, Doc. That's not that bad. Okay, so... Can I climb back up there when I come back? Yes. Of course I can. All I have to do is follow the cable, and we'll be A-OK. -okay. All right, here goes nothing. is crazy well, maybe I ought to follow okay Woo. maybe I ought to follow the light doc maybe you ought to point that light at me possibly there you go good stuff oh god I don't want to die <laughs> oh my god Amazing! You got the generator back on. Have you seen how powerful the defluxer is? It's definitely our way out of here. Wait a minute. I might be able to mount this defluxer to your drone. That is so stinking cool. Yeah. Looks pretty sweet. We're probably going to kill the, uh, the Xerxes he's got here. It worked. The fluxer is now installed on your fancy drone there. It's not meant to run off such a small power source. If you use it too much, it'll calm out. It could malfunction. Just remember it's dangerous now. Let's get back to the village. Coming home, son. Cool. Uh, okay. So... Are we uh, escorting him to the village? Why doesn't he just carry his? Take out all the zerks so we can get through. No way. Oh, there it goes. Wow, wow. Okay, so we gotta let it cool down a bit. That's awesome. <laughs> I think it was a freaking weapon. A cat with a weapon. Alright, any Zerks you wanna get destroyed? I, I'm pretty sure. This is not going to be as easy as it seems. The switch doesn't... There we go. It looks like an electricity has been cut. Okay, so... Maybe I ought to... Bring this that way. Inside the vent over there. Sweet. Wow. Okay, this is not fun. Uh oh. Here come the Zerts. Oh, 
God, that's awesome. Okay, how do I open up this freaking door? There we go. Oh no. Holy crap. weapon because it overheats extremely quickly Whew. I was close let's get back home all right open up Ready. I'm fully engaged, fully charged, and ready to rock and roll, baby. Oh, that's the door. Or a very similar door. While he opens it, they're probably gonna attack. No? They can feel emotion. That's pretty advanced. Some incredible technology. <laughs> the dock is back. Thanks for saving Doc, little friend. It's great to see Seema's no longer alone. Now we know that we can fight back against the Zerks. Momo has been waiting for you by the sewers. Doc and Seamus look happy. I think we did a good thing together. All right. So guys, we've officially reunited Doc with his son Seamus. And uh, like, like B12 said, a little robot. Uh, we did a good thing and this game was awesome. So we got probably like two more episodes. It's, it's not Honestly a very long game, but it's just a very fun relaxing Sit back and chill sort of game and I'm really really enjoying this. So thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed this episode. Of course if you did drop it a like and hopefully I will I'll catch you guys on the next one